Hello, my name is Karen Finlay Russell and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'd like to share with you a project that I'm currently working on. It is a mini album that I originally saw at a virtual Stampin' Up! workshop that I attended. It was demonstrated by Shelley Gardner who was one of the original founders of Stampin' Up! For this project I used the floral gallery dies found on page 34 of the January to June 2021 mini catalog, the flower and field designer series paper from the celebration flyer, and the well written dies in the annual catalog on page 183. This is the mini album that I'm referring to. And what I'm going to show you today is not how to complete the album, but just how to do the base for the album. I'll show you the insides once I show you how to do the base. So to, do, to start with this base, you can use any DSP that you, that you choose. Um, chipboard, cut at five and a half by four and a quarter. For the front and back cover, you will also need DSP cut at five and a half and, and by four and a quarter, two pieces, as well as a piece cut at five and a half by three. So let's get started. I'm going to use a different type of. Oh no, I think this is from the same, the same um, DSP actually. You want to make sure that you line up the corners well, which is one of the reasons I'm using liquid glue so that if I don't get it set down properly I can move it around a little bit. Once you have those two pieces glued down, you'll take a piece of three by five and a half. And I use the grid paper to line it up, number one so I'm getting it straight and number two so I'm getting it even on both sides. So I go over about an inch and a quarter. And depending on how many pages you put in between, you may want it over an inch and a quarter or only an inch.
And again, I'm lining it up about five squares. So about an inch and a quarter. leaving a gap of about, well, just over an inch, or just over half an inch. Next, you'll need DSP cut eight and a half by five and scored at four and a quarter. Now you can cut as many pieces as you like. Remember though, if you're cutting more than four or five, you will need to leave the gap, the center gap, a little bit larger. So I've just cut a few today because I'm not actually going to do a whole book. I'm just going to kind of give you an idea how you, the next steps. So again, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. The first page you're going to put in is the cover, the front cover, Oops. Lining up the corners. And you will continue to add pages to the one before until you get to the back cover, at which point, you, if this was the back cover, I would just be gluing this to this. So to show you the inside of the one I've done, and it isn't completed as yet, uh, perhaps if you check back in another um, few weeks, I'll have it completed and I'll be able to show it on my web page. So this is for my granddaughter's 16th birthday. This was her 15th birthday last year. You can see there's pockets here that you can put pictures, tags in. There's a pocket at the side. Oops. Haven't completed this page yet. This one is a group shot, so I am just expanded it out. Some pictures that I'm going to put in here yet. I haven't quite figured out how they're going in, but probably in that page. Some I've placed in. A couple of pockets. And then the back. So one of the things I should mention um, there is pockets in the top here too that you can put tags in 
or additional pictures, or a note, or a card. If you want to put tags in the top of your photo book, then you won't glue the top when you're putting it together. You'll just glue the sides. So I will add additional embellishments. I've gone ahead and cut some pieces um, from the well-written dies. So some wording. Whoops, got some glue on my finger. So some wording. A little butterfly. And what I've done with the DSP, so I can add a little bit more, is fussy cut some of the flowers. So I can add those into the book once I've put the pictures in. So that's it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, you check back on my website uh, in a couple weeks. All you have to do is go to Stampin' Up and look for my name, Karen Finlay Russell, and I should have that the um, mini album posted probably by the end of uh, March at the very latest. Thanks, have a good day.